So I survived 100 days in 60 seconds. I've survived 200 days. I tried to survive 300 days, but I've gotten clapped every time I tried to attempt that. I don't think I've ever tried to see how long I could survive without getting any items when we're scavenging. I kind of want to try it right now and see how long we can last. If you guys cool day down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up. Cause here we go. Yeah, my voice crack. What are you going to do about it? So the problem I have here is since I'm not able to get anyone or anything, Dolores is gonna have to be the one to survive all alone because Ted he instantly brings out that sock puppet To be fair what I'm gonna do because Sarbama is unforgiving if I bring nothing in the bunker and do it on Sarbama I'm probably not even lasting five seconds But if I do at least fat man, which is normal it won't be as forgiving and easy as little boy So we are gonna try it on fat man mode and since we're not even scavenging I'm just gonna stand by the bunker door until time's up. So yeah, let me just run over here and we are going to fast forward time and I'll see you in 60 seconds. So here we go everybody. We are going to see how long we can survive without Bobby. grabbing any items let the no items that I grab challenge and hopefully I survive challenge begin! You know what I mean? Day one, everybody. Nothing. We have one water, one soup, and the Boy Scout book. Try it. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. So I'm just going to have to rely on scenarios. At least I got one water and one soup. So, oh man, she's already going crazy. She's already going crazy. Baby's already going crazy. But it says, whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius. But we can't really tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature. We should probably try to do something about it with whatever we brought down here. Good thing the Boy Scout book got thrown down here. Maybe it was Ted or Mary Jane or Timmy. They just threw the book down there to hit Dolores because she didn't grab anybody so they can come down in the bunker. But no problem. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Hold on, everybody. It says there is nothing more surprising than a knock on a fallout shelter door. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That sounds like a good idea. Should we open the door? It's got to be Timmy, Mary Jane, or Ted. It doesn't have to be, but it better be. Or else I will kill somebody. Right here, right now. Timmy! Okay, so we're going to prepare to scavenge. And oh my goodness, this is the best case scenario. Thank you, Timmy. I'm so happy. <laughs> what are you doing, Dolores? I was gonna send you out. Why are you being dumb? I don't even think I can send her out now. Yeah, because she's so exhausted from doing nothing for five days. So I gotta hope that one of them heals up pretty quick so I can send them out to scavenge, but it's not looking pretty good from the looks of it. And we've been hearing strange noises lately. Is it coming from the outside or is it something that came into the shelter with us? It's Ted and Mary Jane just decomposing up there. They're slowly dying. They're like, oh, why didn't you bring me into the shelter? But there's never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland. But it seems this will become a necessity in this new world of ours. It's pancake, but we don't have any of those items. I'm so happy that Timmy actually came into the bunker. But I need him to go outside because we don't have any more water or any more soup. So I need you to stop being a little bitch, Timmy. And I need to send somebody out so bad it's difficult to keep track of time down here but at least we remembered it's timmy's birthday today okay happy birthday mother sucker hopefully <laughs> us giving him the boy scout book can make him feel a little bit better even though he does have the sniffles he looks like shit he looks like unwiped dog shit hopefully he can go out though um this is a good day to go outside stretch a bit get some fresh air yes okay so we're sending out timmy i'm so happy about this imagine we bring nothing into the bunker and we survive 100 plus days that is the definition of clutch. That is the definition of I'm like that. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. I mean, that sounds good, but I don't have a radio, so obviously we're going to skip that. And I need more scenarios where we get a visit from the take from the rich, give to the poor people. Because look how starved we are. We could definitely use the green pajamas help. And if you don't know what I mean by the green pajamas, if this is like your first 60 seconds video, first of all, go watch the other ones because they're all dope. But second of all, the green pajamas steal if you have a bunch of stuff in your bunker. I want to see what happens when they give us stuff because we don't have shit. We really don't. And it's another radio situation. I need Timmy to come back with some good stuff. Apparently, he's the best scavenger in this game. 
So if you send him out, he's gonna come back with something better than anything Dolores, Ted, or Mary Jane can come back with. But yeah, without any items, it's impossible to like do any of these scenarios. Timmy's back on day 15. What did he bring back? He brought back a radio in one soup. Holy shit. Okay, and a map. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. This is gonna be interesting. Because I only have one more water left. So that means I kind of have to let him die, right? So let's give the water. Prepare to scavenge? No, I don't know. Hold on. The more we know about what's going on outside, the better it is for us. Let's gather around the radio and see if we can tune into a station. Hold on. Let me see if Timmy's actually going to survive. Because we haven't given him water in about five days. He seems like he's okay. The radio got busted, though. I barely have anything in this dog shit shelter and you broke the radio. How dare ye? But I can't even send out Dolores. Because Timmy's gonna die any minute now. He's on borrowed time. And then if he dies, then Dolores is definitely getting locked out of the bunker, so. We've been smelling something funny in the shelter ever since we woke up. It's probably their hot-ass breath. Sure enough, there was something. Something or someone started a fire. And it's already spreading. We can't save everything. What do we save for the flames? You want to save the mosquito that's flying around the bunker? Just save the damn book. That's all we have besides the map. I'm pretty sure the map is just something we're going to use as toilet paper to wipe our asses with. But I need a scenario right now. Some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able and responsible person. I don't know, man. Timmy's gone, and it's only day 19. If I don't get any water right now, I'm not surviving past day 20. Please. Come on. Dude! I'm dead! I'm dead. I'm deader than dead. I'm dead and deader. We took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in a few places. It appeared as if someone had hidden something in the area and provided directions to it. That's a sick joke, right? Because Dolores is about to die. And let me see what I found. We got nothing. It was nothing. It was nothing. And we ruined the map. All right, everybody. This is attempt number two. We got lucky with the water and the soup for the first 20 days. But I don't know if we're actually going to get that a second time. Give us at least two waters. If we can get two waters, I will be forever grateful. Let's see what we got, though. We got one water, one soup, and we got that. Okay. I'm happy about that. I am. We at least have an instrument to play some sweet-ass tunes. I don't know if it was a blessing or a curse to get Timmy in the bunker with us. Because he basically wasted half the water. I could have survived 40 days, couldn't I? Wait. 5, 10, 15, 20. No. Actually, what am I talking about? Don't listen to what I just said. I'm stupid. So now we got that green puddle scenario again. Last time we got lucky because we had the book. This time I'm not so sure. So if she gets sick, I'm done. Okay. She just has that stupid look on her face. But we didn't get sick. So I'm happy about that. And the trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans. And that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Uh, how am I going to survive with these roaches just chilling here? I wish we could eat these damn roaches. Ugly, annoying ass roaches. And the cockroaches aren't playing around. I wish I could kill them. But I don't have anything. Apparently, she doesn't want to use her size 8 shoe to step on them. Because she's too classy. She's sassy, but she's classy. This challenge is way harder than I thought. We've survived a week. And all we have are roaches. I thought roaches go into dirty apartments. There is nothing in here. It's so clean. I would lick the floors in these bunkers. I actually wouldn't. I, I think that there's a lot of bacteria in this stank-ass bunker. But, oh, she got sick. She got sick. I'm already sick of this challenge. Wait a minute. It's day 11, and there's a gang of firefighters outside? What in the world is that? There's no way. What are you going to steal, my oxygen? She got her ass beat. That is so disrespectful. It was only 11 days in, and a sick woman got her ass beat. This challenge is sick. I don't even know why I thought of this. We're closed off in a tiny shelter, and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people. I love killing elderly people. Fuck yeah! Okay, I think we're going to get some good stuff. At least a Boy Scout book? Why would I kill old people for a Boy Scout book? What do you mean? All right, at least I can kill the cockroaches. That's all that matters to me. But can we survive at least more than 20 days? Can you survive, Dolores? I mean, can you look past the tears in your eyes? And can we survive? I need there to be a knock on the shelter door or something. Anything. Please. 
I'm begging you. <laughs> it hurts. There's more random bells. <laughs> no, it's only day 18 in Dolores' coffin. It sounded so hoarse, too. Like, <laughs> it is not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. If I were in this situation in real life, I would take my chances in the radioactive wasteland. I would not stay here. We played a game of list of things you hate the most, and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us that the little weasel had a safe in his living room. We always wondered what's inside. If you got a safe and it's exposed, is it really safe? I'm just asking. I'm asking for a friend. The end. What just happened? Oh my gosh, and a med kit? That, that is, that is sick. Here we go, everybody. Third time. I'm optimistic. I'm feeling good. I'm trying to manifest med kit, map, five waters, five soups, a gun, a bazooka, all that, everything. And the family just miraculously jumped down here. Come on. One water, one soup, and playing cards. You're playing with my heart right now with these playing cards. What is that? I got one of the most useless items that you could get. Playing cards? What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. We did the playing cards. Maybe that's going to make her more calm. Because a calm Dolores is a good Dolores. She's not even calm. It didn't do shit. Like I said, the most useless item in the bunker. And a group of doctors knocked on our door today asking for my only water bottle i should slap you silly day five there isn't a lot of space down here and we can smell everything when one of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole we felt pretty sick it's the smell coming from the hole it's terrible should we investigate and remove the source of this stench absolutely freaking lootly because why would you want to stay in a place that smells like i don't know it probably smells like hot, nasty Dolores breath, and we got a can of soup. Ding! I am pretty disrespectful, aren't I? I am. But the funniest thing is that I don't give a double doggy style damn about that. I'm just trying to make Dolores survive for as long as possible. But she's not cooperating because she has her arms in the T-Rex position. And we're not getting one soup got What? That beast of a rodent won. It won and stole our food. <laughs> what is this? It's not my fault that I have nothing to defend myself. I mean, with your T-Rex arms, maybe you could throw some punches? Something, Dolores? Like, what are you on right now? You're really pissing me off. You're gonna make me want to go with Ted instead of you, honestly. If I don't get water right now, there's no way I'm surviving the rest of the way. Please. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Unless I get lucky with the one item that we get. You know? I have to get lucky. With, a, like, a radio or... I don't know, maybe a weapon or something. But wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I can trade the cards for a water. And it's already too late. <laughs> I always get the item right when she's about to die. One more try on normal, everybody. Because I really do feel like it comes down to getting lucky on that one item. I feel like you get at least one water and one soup every single time. Because we're three for three with that on the three runs that I tried. And we got a flashlight. Okay, I mean, that's not the best, but at least it's something different. I don't know. I don't know. It is pretty dog shit. Day four. Someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. Maybe it'll be one of the family members again. Please. Maybe Ted? Hopefully, just in case Dolores dies. Come on, it's Mary Jane. Okay. Um, she's injured too. Okay, let's do this. Let's give water to both of them. And then um, let's prepare to scavenge. And then hopefully, oh, green stuff dripping from the walls. Maybe it'll make uh, Mary Jane into a mutant. And then I'll get lucky that way. Oh my God! Bro! What the fuck? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Holy shit! Oh, that is amazing. I can send her out every single time. And she's going to come back every single time. Wow. I cannot believe that just happened. Bro, that is the luckiest shit that could ever happen. <laughs> that is amazing. I feel like we can live 100 days if we just keep sending her out. I'm so happy. Oh, no. The problem is sick. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. Please don't get sick, Dolores. Please don't get sick. Avoid that. Avoid that. Avoid that like the plague. Please. Damn it. Oh. Bro. 
Now it's just a matter of time before she dies. <laughs> if she was just a little bit crazy, that's okay. But the fact that she's sick too, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Unless we get lucky with robbing somebody and then we get a med kit. But Mary Jane came back. She brought back more waters. Okay. That's good. So let me actually give Dolores more waters. Let me give Mary Jane some soup. Let's prepare to scavenge. And if there's one sure way to get our attention, it's definitely banging on our shelter door. Whoever it is, they're quite persistent. They've been at it for the past five minutes. Should we open? Maybe it's Ted? Maybe the whole family is going to come in here? If they are, imagine? Okay, never mind. Who was it? We opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Damn pranksters making jokes even after the apocalypse. It was a ghost. But let me send out Mary Jane again. And hopefully she comes back with a med kit, please. My strategy right now, everybody, I'm going to keep giving Dolores water. Open in the name of freedom, came a shot from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Yes. And they are going to give me a med kit because I just saw into the future and they just gave me a med kit. They gave me a gun. All right. Thank you for that. I actually like that we got a gun. <laughs> I'm happy we got a gun now. Just in case raiders come, the end. I got mutant Mary Jane, and she died. Because what? Wait, and Mary Jane didn't even come back? Dolores bravely faced hunger. However, eating is a habit that is hard to shake off. She couldn't take it anymore? I forgot to feed her? I was so focused on giving her water that I forgot to feed her? I'm trying this on normal one more time. I'm stubborn. I am. That's what the doctor said to my mom when I was born. The doctor said, this bitch is stubborn. We got the same setup as last time? You're a loser. Come on, man. You got to switch up at least one time. The end. Yeah, I'm trying this on easy one time, everybody. And she left. Wait, where did she go? Hold on. This morning, we realized Dolores has left the bunker. Unfortunately, she could no longer contain her insanity. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, we're going to stick with Dolores, but this time we are going to go on the easiest mode. The only reason why I didn't want to do it is because at least in normal, they give you like one or two or three items on the easiest one. I think they actually take care of you pretty good. We got two waters, two soups, the gun, a radio, harmonica. Okay. I'm happy with that. That's all like... I don't know, like offensive type of things, like killing people and trying to protect myself. And she still goes crazy, even on the easiest mode. Day five, there is nothing more surprising than a knock on a fallout shelter door. Who could it be? I want you all to guess who it could be. Ted, Timmy, um, Ted, Timmy, what was it? Mary Jane, it's Timmy. And he looked like he went through some shit. He looked like he saw some shit in that radioactive wasteland. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But let me prepare to scavenge. And <laughs> this dude looked like he sees some things. I mean, he did see his dad and his sister get blown to smithereens by the nuclear bomb blast. But sheesh, Timmy. All right, wait, 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 wait. Let's give water. And then we are sending out Dolores for Sherzies. This is probably going to backfire on me. But it says that a group of doctors knocked on our door today requesting some supplies that will be helpful in refilling their first aid kits. I think I'm going to give it to them because it's only a matter of time before Timmy or Dolores get super sick. And I'm going to need them to be able to get healed. And if I'm not getting a med kit, I at least need those doctors to come back and help me heal. So wait, I don't think he needs water yet. So let's not give any water yet. Because we just gave him water, I think, on like day eight. So we'd still be good for a couple more days. Day 13. We felt that we should do something about our interior decoration. The feng shui is really off in our fallout shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? There's only one way to find out. At least let's put this gun to good use and get something good. And Dolores came back on day 14. She brought back two soups, one gas mask, and two waters. I will take that. So let's prepare to scavenge just in case. And Timmy is not doing great. It would be good to talk to him and cheer him up. I mean, I could have told you that. It didn't take a random note to see that Timmy was not doing that well. Day 16. What was that? Did the radio static just stop for a moment? Let's try tuning in on that signal. Hopefully it's a med kit because I'm going to use it on Dolores. Timmy, we can just wait for those doctor people to come. But the radio broke and we lost a can of soup. I thought this was supposed to be easy mode. Why is this more difficult than normal mode? Wait, Dolores and Timmy got healed. It just says Dolores was cured from her illness and Timmy was cured. I love that. So I'm going to prepare to scavenge. 
and I'm gonna send out Timmy because even though they look like that, you can actually still send one of them out. So let me send out Timmy and I'm just gonna use, no, should I use the gas mask? You know what? I'm gonna bring this. I don't know. I don't know what else we could use it for. So we might as well use it for good luck. Day 27, Timmy just came back. He brought back a med kit. Holy shit. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm happy for you, Timmy. I really am. We woke up to a dripping sound today and noticed there's something leaking from the pipes. That would have been a perfect scenario for Mary Jane because I think she would have turned into a mutant right there. But we've survived 28 days. Even though it's on easy mode, we survived starting with nothing. We only started with some of the things that easy mode gave us. But the situation is simple. We're bored, it's too quiet, and we're desperately craving entertainment. The solution also seems simple. Somebody could give our old harmonica a spin, but who is best suited to give us a high-quality mouth organ concert? I don't ever want to say mouth organ again. But playing that actually didn't do anything. So I think choosing Timmy was the wrong choice. The roaches seem to get more organized with every passing day. I guess I'm taking out the rifle and I'm shooting them in the face. So I can actually send out Dolores. So I'm going to prepare to scavenge. And let's see what happens if we scavenge one more time. What? What happened? What did I do? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. This was a dark day for our family. The morning we realized Dolores has left the bunker. Unfortunately, she could no longer contain her insanity. So the trouble with this is if I bring Dolores here with no other person. It already makes her insane from the get-go, so you're already playing on borrowed time because she's gonna leave the bunker eventually. What if I kinda modify this challenge and just have her bring one of the family members, but no items? So I'm playing this on normal. I just brought Timmy, just so Dolores doesn't go crazy instantly. We're not gonna last, so I need to send somebody out to scavenge ASAP. I think that might be more of an advantage for me. Because if we can send somebody out to scavenge, that increases the likelihood that we are going to come back with some good shit. So I guess if you bring nothing in the bunker, they always at least give you one bottle of water, one soup, and a random item around the bunker. I never knew that. So yeah, I'm going to send out Timmy as soon as I can. And hopefully we survive a lot longer. I can't even send him out. Wow. I don't, I don't understand. It doesn't even make a difference. It just makes me sad. They're both sad, but I'm the saddest of them all. I've had it up to here with these losers, everybody. This is not funny. This is not funny. Timmy is not doing great. I'm not doing great. And it would be a good idea to talk to him and cheer him up. Can somebody talk to me and cheer me up? Because I'm down in the dumps right now. I have to look at these two assholes the whole time. And they're not even doing anything for me. All right, Dolores is fine. So I'm going to send her out to scavenge. And if she doesn't come back with anything, this is the last time that I'm ever attempting this. Because this is actually way harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be some cute little challenge. But I'm over here stressing more than like a 200-day, 300-day challenge. The end. <laughs> the end. <laughs> what happened? Dolores didn't come back. Why, though? We don't think Dolores is coming back from the surface. It's been too long. It's only been like four days. You gave up on her already? All right, everybody. I'm done with this challenge. I've gotten screwed every single time I've attempted this. It started with Dolores going insane and eventually leaving the bunker a few times. And then when I brought Timmy with her into the bunker starting from day one, she doesn't even come back from the first expedition. I'm done with this. I'm done with this challenge. If you guys want to attempt this challenge, I actually do want to know how many days you all actually survive. Because I feel like a big part of this is the situations that you get early on. And the starting items that you get in the bunker. Like I said though, with Sarbama, you don't get any items. So I would recommend doing this on normal or the easiest mode. And yeah, if you do attempt this, I want to see how many days you all survive. But if you enjoyed me trying to attempt this one, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.